When I started watching the new Netflix documentary, The Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker, the first time the dude comes on the screen and we hear him speak, I was getting a bit of a mix of Crush from Finding Nemo and the so-pitted surfer dude that was interviewed on the news a whole bunch of years ago. This documentary chronicles a happy-go-lucky nomad's ascent to viral stardom and the steep downward spiral that resulted in his imprisonment. The title of this documentary movie says it all. This follows the guy named Kai who became an internet sensation for a bit after he was interviewed by a Fresno news channel for helping to save some people's lives when this dude plowed into some pedestrians. Kai had a hatchet with him and he helped beat the perpetrator, which is where he gained the nickname. Now, Kai comes across as very humble, down to earth, certainly a tiny bit weird, but somebody you'd expect to become an internet hot topic if you were to see his clip on the news. The original interview with Kai is still available to watch on YouTube, so I'm going to put that link in the description below if you want to watch it. But for this documentary, we get way more than just that bit of Kai's life. There are interviews with the original reporter, Jessup, who sort of befriended Kai, Kai's family, and a few people in the entertainment industry who had some interesting interactions with him in the weeks after his newfound fame. Now, like most documentaries, this one is shot really well, and all the interview footage is captured in excellent quality. And the storytelling is done in a captivating way as well, where we're given a bit of a tease to start out, and then the story goes back to the very beginning, and it fills in all the gaps in chronological order. This is a bizarre story, and there were multiple times when I kind of snorted in disbelief at what was being revealed. Parts were genuinely shocking, and then they became sad and heartbreaking, and then very disturbing. What really made this movie for me were the stories from the people who are in the entertainment industry. And while the reporter Jessup could recount some interesting interactions with Kai, the dude who worked for Jimmy Kimmel, the producer who sought out talent for new reality shows, and then the artist or his talent babysitter of sorts told some very hard to believe stories that made me laugh out loud multiple times. Now, the Jimmy Kimmel staffer is very animated, and he was entertaining in his own right, but his first-hand observations and accounts of what went down with Kai in those hours leading up to the Kimmel show, as well as what went on during the actual show, I mean, these stories were really funny to hear. I felt almost nervous for the guy, even though this is in the past and he's just recounting it, but I could imagine the craziness and the uncertainty that surrounded Kai, which can then really make for some entertaining television. And we get to see some of the Kimmel show in this also, and it's great to then hear the behind the scenes details from the staffer. Now the producer's story is funny and freaky. As she talks about what she experienced. You just kind of shake your head in almost disbelief that she was in some of the situations, especially once more is revealed later in the documentary about Kai and his behaviors. Now the producer's delivery, it's down to earth and witty, telling it like it is, which makes it interesting to listen to. The talent babysitter dude had a much smaller presence in the documentary, but it's funny to hear him talk about things because he's kind of seen it all already. So he sort of knew what to expect, even though Kai was a special breed. Now, storytelling in this does a great job of luring us into the narrative and beginning to feel at least a little support for Kai. He's charismatic and charming, and even though he is bizarre and a bit scattered, he comes across like a chill dude. And that's then when the story shifts to tell us a much darker account. We hear from Kai's family, which reveals intriguing and even concerning insight, painting a completely new and different picture of Kai. There's a crime that Kai is accused of, and while some of the investigation is covered and we get to see some interview footage, I would have liked to have seen even more of what police did to solidify their case. What we're given is still pretty convincing, especially when we get to hear Kai's accounting of the events, but as this dives into a true crime angle, more depth would have been nice. I think this documentary does a really great job at highlighting how people become internet famous without knowing the person. The cautionary tale of how sometimes that fame elevates a person's stature and makes them a celebrity who becomes adored, influential, even memed. But the question remains, should they have been idolized at all like that? The story does give us a peek behind the curtain a little bit, but because it happened almost a decade ago, the 360 access and the nonstop media, they just weren't as prevalent as it is now. So we don't get every single detail caught from multiple angles like most things are captured nowadays. I love that this is a very quick watch at only 85 minutes. So it doesn't drag out any of the story unnecessarily or even try to fill up multiple episodes when the content can't support that length. This is efficiently told, captivating to learn about and entertaining to watch. I mean, the content ends up being very sad and dark, but it is still a great watch. There's no sex or nudity, a lot of profanity, and while no violence is really shown, there are some images and descriptions of violence. 
Now, as a reminder, I don't give couch ratings to documentaries, but I highly recommend checking out The Hatchet-Wielding Hitchhiker on Netflix. And then be careful of who you let into your car. So what are you watching right now? Anything good that I should add to my list to check out? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.